Hey guys, Mr. Vickery here again. Um, we are going to now learn where the portfolios function is in Canvas so we can create your physics portfolio. Um, if you go up to right about here, here I'm at the uh, physics homepage and you see that it says my name, Dave Vickery. It's going to say your name, but if you click on your name, <clears throat> over to the left here you're gonna see ePortfolios and we're gonna click on that I already have some portfolios made kind of as practice but you are going to create your first portfolio so you're gonna create a portfolio called real world physics make it public make portfolio now it's gonna bring you to this page within your real-world physics portfolio and you really you can go through the getting started wizard or go to actual ePortfolio but what you're really gonna to want to do is go to the actual ePortfolio and this is where we're going to produce our first page. Um, this is our welcome page and you can add as many pages as you'd like and in fact we're going to add different units with different topics later down the road but we're going to start by editing our welcome page and here once we start to edit um, we've already named it real world physics so this is going to be our welcome page and we can add things like rich text content which would be where you type things hi my name is Dave Vickery you can embed content which we'll learn later but you can embed your YouTube video, which is going to be the first thing that you do. You can add course submissions. So these could be assignments that you have done that link to what you uh, learned in physics. You can upload images. Lots and lots of options here. If I don't want something, I will take and trash that trash this trash my embedded content and actually I'm gonna trash this for now we're just gonna save the page and we have this welcome page hey back again um, adding a new page to your portfolio if you go up here to the right and you click organize manage pages you can click that button add another page for now just to show you what it looks like we'll call it unit 2 constant velocity motion now we have a unit here which we can edit and put all kinds of things here so we can add our rich text content HTML embedded content course submissions images um, the sky's kind of the limit there so eventually you're gonna build this portfolio that contains several different units several different tasks several different videos pictures and all kinds of other content but we're gonna take this one step at a time the question is how do I embed a video into my physics portfolio um, assuming that you have already created a YouTube channel which is housing all your videos if I go to my channel at YouTube 
and I just choose any old video that I made. In fact, I've made a video called Creating a Google Account, Installing Camtasia, Clearing the Cache in Firefox, Vickery's Top Science Picks, Chemistry Videos. Let's say I want to embed a video. If I choose that video, so I'm going to go to Chemistry Videos, and I like this Introduction to Chemistry. It's a really good uh, video. right down here it says share and if I click that share button it's gonna say share the link or see right here it says embed and it's gonna give you a code it's called the embed code I'm going to copy that and I did that with a um, keyboard stroke which is control C or you can copy it this way so I've copied this embed code. I'm going to go back to my ePortfolio, which I still have open. I'm going to go ahead and trash this. I'm going to go back to my home and my welcome page. I'm going to edit it. Edit my welcome page. I don't want this... Uh, this section. So what I'm going to do is I want to HTML embedded content. Copy and paste your HTML code in the box below. Control V will post that. Go ahead and hit enter. Save page. Ta-da! Now we have some embedded content that we can play if you can picture this you have created a video you've uploaded it to YouTube now you're embedding embedding it into your portfolio from here we can instantly play the video and as Mrs. Kelly looks through your portfolios she should see embedded content um, right in that page